Hi guys, Nick here. A lot of you have been asking me, how do I get my Merchant Center back after it gets suspended? So this is a huge issue at the moment. Lots of people are suffering from it. Uh, it seems like just Google is out there to get all us uh, e-commerce dropshippers. Uh, and I'm gonna show you exactly what you need to do to get your Merchant Center account unsuspended. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up, hit that notification bell, uh, and leave me a comment below with any new content you wanna see. In this video, I'm gonna talk you through what to do if your Merchant Center account gets banned, okay? So this is a simple guide as to how to get your account back, okay? So a lot of people complain that this is impossible, you can't do it, it takes a long time. And while I can relate to the it taking some time, if you're persistent, I find it very rare that you cannot get this account back unless you've done something really, really bad, misled them, or continuously tried to create lots of new accounts with issues. Now, if you were a business, why would you let that person back on, right? You need to be persistent. It may take some time. You may lose some sales. This is why I always recommend that you know, you don't switch to just Google or just Facebook. You want to diversify, have good SEO, have Facebook, Instagram, uh, Google, and being all sorts of avenues, right? Because stuff like this happens. This is the online game, guys. This is e-commerce. So if you're persistent, you, you know, 95% of the time will get your account back. Bar if you've not if you've done some dodgy stuff if you've misled people if you've multiple had multiple warnings uh, I find that most people when they say they haven't got their account back they leave out a lot of the story because in my experience having managed hundreds if not thousands of accounts there's very very few I've not gotten back and when I haven't gotten back uh, I'll I've been able to create new ones but in a very 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 um, in a way that has very strict criteria, which I will talk you through. Okay, so always the first thing you wanna do, guys, is identify the issue or seek further information from Google. When your account is uh, flagged as being suspended, uh, up the top in the Merchant Center, there's a red section, and in there it says, contact us, okay? So you can click that and get more information. There's an option there, fill out the form, it'll ask for a few bits and pieces of information to identify you and, and ask what the issue is. In there, kind of elaborate on what your store is about, what you do, and give them some confidence and put a bit of actual substance to it, right? Identifying the issue means going into your actual product feed and then going within there, you will see down the bottom, you'll see all the errors, right? So the ones I've been talking about in previous videos, they'll be flagged as red for the most part, and they will give you a specific reason normally. Now, there are some really vague ones, but if you go through the previous video that gave you the reasons and go through Google's uh, Merchant Center policy, go through this in detail, remove anything that is unclear, a little bit dodgy, um, and fix any issues, right? Even if you have to remove certain products because they're the reason that you got flagged, go through, clean it up, and then seek further information or contact Google to manually review it, which is step two, right? you can contact Google and ask them to manually review your Merchant Center and store account. Guys, this may take some time and you may need to go backwards and forwards for a while. They may give you a reason, tell you to fix it, right? Just be persistent, keep going backwards and forwards with them, show them you're working with them and remove and tidy up the store, the feed and every bit of the account, right? Now, as I said, there will be some instances where you will not get this account back. Okay, if you avoid all the things I said, it is unlikely, and even with the massive push that they did, yes, even myself had some accounts banned, I was able to get all of those back by one. The one that I did not, this is what I did to restore the account. If you get a final ban, you will likely need to recreate all of your accounts. This means a new Merchant Center, Google Ad Account, Analytics, and in, if you really wanna go extreme, uh, a new URL and credit cards, okay? This needs to be a last resort, guys, and you need to be careful. Always, always, always try and get the accounts back first. Even if it takes you several weeks, if not a month, you may need to just do this, guys. This right here, this step is a last resort, so please do not just skip to doing this because if you do it and you are in somehow matched to the previous account, then you will get an auto ban again, okay? So I hope that's helped you guys. Uh, I'll see you in the next video.